made for this. You only need to make one hot air balloon if you want to have more, like in this picture here. In the background, that's fine too. It's up to you. So here's how I did this one. I'm going to show you what I did for this. I would recommend always drawing first with pencil. And you can draw along with me if you want, or you can do this on your own after you've watched the video. You can always pause the video if you're drawing along with me. Um, I'm going to just use crayon so it shows up for you guys, but again, I would definitely use a pencil first and then trace over it with my crayon to make sure that it's how I want it, okay? So you could find a lid or something else that is a circle to trace to make a nice circle for your hot air balloon. I'm just going to do my best to make my circle free-handed, okay? But again, if you want to trace something, find something to trace it, you can. You can pause the video and draw with me, go find something, come back, or if you want to do this on your own later. Now, for my hot air balloon, I want to make it look like it's a round surface and not flat. So to do that, instead of making straight stripes, I'm going to have my lines, I'm going to pretend like there's a line right here in the middle, and my next line is going to curve over to the side, and I'm going to add one more in between there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to do a curved line, and then another curved line. See how the lines on the right side curve to the right side, and the lines on the left curve to the left side? Now I have room at the bottom, and this is where I'm going to make the basket where I would ride in my hot air balloon. And I'm just going to make the shape for my basket. And you could make your basket any shape you want. I'm going to make it look like people can go inside of it, so I'm going to curve up and around. That's making it look like a form, too. Then I'm going to connect my lines up to my balloon. Now, inside here is where you're going to be adding your patterns. Each section can be different with your designs, or if you want to repeat designs, you can too. So let me show you on the other one that I had done. The center has a pattern, and then these two are the same, but these two could be different. It's up to you, right? I drew with pencil first, and then I traced over my design, pushing hard. And then I colored all of this in with crayon, except for the background I did with watercolor. Now, if you have watercolors at home and you want to do watercolors for your background, you can. If you don't have watercolors, that's okay. You can use crayons for that part, too. You can also add some fluffy white clouds to show that you're high up in the sky. And notice how they're coming in off the side of the page. Maybe some go behind the balloon. Okay. When you're all done with your hot air balloon picture and you've filled it in with patterns, it's all colored, make sure to upload a picture onto this assignment so that we can see your wonderful artwork. Hope you like this project. Have a great day. Bye.